Negative time, guys. Negative freaking time. Evidence of negative time has been found in quantum physics experiment. If that sounds weird, maybe this explanation will help. So in this experiment, researchers at the University of Toronto fired photons into a cloud of ultra-cold rubidium atoms. Now, as a reminder, photons can behave as both a particle and a wave. Two of these particles can become entangled and do what Albert Einstein called spooky action at a distance. Here's what happened. As they fired these light particles, these photons, into that super cold cloud, normally you would expect the photons to interact with the atoms. Something really weird happened. Some of the freaking photons exited that cloud before they even entered it. Yeah, how does that work? I mean, can you walk out of the back door of a house before you go into the front door? Time doesn't work like that for us, but in the quantum world, it's funky. Now, this doesn't mean that time is broken or that we are close to time travel, but it does mean in the quantum space, things don't always follow the rules such as time as we perceive them. Another really interesting component of the experiment was they noticed that the photons would sometimes pass without interference. Interference means it interacts with those atoms. There's a transfer of energy. These light particles would pass without interference and yet the atoms still experienced excitation. This was on top of the photons exiting the cloud before they even entered it. So Josiah Sinclair, one of the co-authors of the experiment says, a negative time delay may seem paradoxical, but what it means is that if you built a quantum clock to measure how much time atoms are spending in the excited state, the clock hand would, under certain circumstances, move backwards rather than forwards. Listen, it's not my expertise, I don't know guys but it sure is leaving a lot of people significantly smarter than I am baffled. But let's dive into how this could be a sign that we live in a simulation or a holographic reality, because experiments like these seem to break the rules of classical physics. The discovery of negative time within quantum physics could show that we don't live in the reality that we think we do. In our everyday world, time moves forward, but in quantum physics, there is evidence that that might not be the case, which suggests that time is not fixed as we experience it. Maybe it's a part of a system that can be manipulated. If we lived in a simulation or a holographic reality, these could be glitches within the matrix or features of an underlying code that controls the world that we live in. This is because quantum mechanics shows us that reality is more of a system of information that's being processed rather than something that's just solid and predictable. So in this case, negative time could be a signal that we live in a holographic or simulated reality. It's not proof yet, but it sure makes you think.